Holy shit. Hey guys, it's that time of year again of spoops and scares. Now, Halloween is a special time. For me, when the sun starts to not come up so fast, I actually get to sleep in a couple hours. That is a big plus, a fucking fantastic plus. It's also a time to dress up and drag and scare the shit out of people. And you know what has a time everywhere? Things. That's right, things. You can put things here, you can put things there, you can add things and sentences. I love things. There's so many of them. Good things, bad things, one thing, two thing, bad thing, man thing. Oh shit, that's canceled. But other than that, there's so many things, especially in horror. There's a thing in the game, there's a thing in a movie. Movies have tons of things. There's plenty of things in Hollywood that's scaring the shit out of me right now. I'm not gonna talk about it though. So here are the top 10 scariest things in gaming. Now, careful guys, this list is pretty rough, okay? So get your blankets out. Okay. Okay, I, I, I think I'm good. I think I'm, I think I'm good. Number 10. Those moments when something happens. You know, you're enjoying the game and a thing happens. It could be the game crashes, you lose internet, or power, or hey, maybe you're watching this in the future, and the sun just fucking vanishes. I hate those. Those things specifically. It's just pure dread in between the failure. But hey, eventually the game works again, eventually the internet comes back, you get power, and there's still no fucking sun. Ah, oh, shit. Uh... How do you redo a sun disappearance? You're gonna have to figure that one out. Number nine. Don't mind me, I'm just preparing for the horror that awaits. Some scary shit. When a cheater cheats on you, having fun, and then someone's fun is based off of your not having fun, so you don't have fun. The horror, right? Ha, oh, fuck. Oh, God. Hey, okay. Hey, you still with me? That's the last one that affects you in the real life, okay? In some ways, this list gets easier, but in others, it gets harder. Number eight, Xbox Live Indie Games. This is when indie games had super limited resources and were bad. I mean, you still had Flash games, so it wasn't all bad, right? I'm super glad dealing with this bad indie game thing is all in the past, right? Like, there's no bad indie games nowadays. Everybody's got the perfect resources, music, free 3D samples, tutorials, there should be no fucking excuse why your game sucks. So there's no, there's no, there's no bad indie games. That's like all a thing of the past, right? God, it's coming after me! Number seven. Hello, 911, what is your emergency, sir? Indie games are chasing me, man, I need your help. Did he just fucking hang up on me? Okay, just, uh, warning you guys. These are now going to be scarier than before. Disclaimer. If you want to back out now, that's fine. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to blame you. When there's no backwards compatibility. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, dear God. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Please forgive me. What did I do that upset you? Fuck the Holy Spirit. Fuck the Holy Spirit. Number six. Okay, 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 guys, I, I don't think I can handle all these spoops. What do you mean? Well, I just can't handle all these things we're talking about. It's just too scary. I mean, uh, these things seem more like minor inconveniences rather than scary parts of the game. Fired. Okay, so number six is... No. No, 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 no. Oh, jeez. Oh, fuck. Oh, jeez. Oh, when they make a video game movie. Fuck! No! Okay, so me and my colleagues agreed about the spook shit that happens in the game rather than the shit that happens to me from the effects of a third party from the game or from the game's glitches or something. You know, it's it's more about the game, you know? Is that cool with you guys? All right, cool, cool. We're gonna have a great top five list. Number five, The Haunted Mansion in Sonic Heroes. You see, this isn't that bad. This is more about the games rather than the horror. And, I, and personally to me, I think that's what horror lists should be about. So anyway, Sonic Heroes is a cursed game already, and the mansion part isn't any exception. There are these 
pumpkin ghosts that happen all over the fucking place. Knuckles really says it best. Hey, you surprised me. The level afterwards is more trippy too. No, no, I mean you literally can trump out of nowhere. These, these rails will fuck you up, man. Number four, the beginning section of Hotline Miami 2. In the beginning level, no, no, not the pick one, the one afterwards. Yeah, the, 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 the one with uh, the fans. Yeah, it's Halloween the reason why I'm putting it on this list, and we're gonna pretend that's not the reason for the rest of the segment. And they're going to do it. What is it that they're going to do? Well, they're going to do a thing. And you know what we think about things. That's why it's on this fucking list. List of horror things. Horror thing gaming top five lists, right? It counts, it counts. Shut up, shut up, shut up. It is my list. Number three, when Mario loses his name in Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. I mean, like, let's think about it, people. It's pretty fucking horrifying when you lose your identity and your skin. Someone's wearing it and mocking you. They also took your friends, too. And there's nothing scarier in this world than somebody taking your own friends away from you. Number two, you know, Adam the Clown freaked me out when I was a kid. And number one, the moment you all been waiting for, this is it. Number one, and drumroll. Luigi's Mansion, the whole game. I, I mean, like, all these are kind of like jokes, you know, but if I'm really serious right now, when I was a kid, Luigi's Mansion scared the shit out of me. And it's not because of its ghostly nature or anything about that. What really got me was the cinematics. When I was a kid with my blanket on me and I had like this big CRTV EV on the floor, I just remember all the transitions with the door animations. And those things are the most dreadful moments I've ever had in a gamer experience. Like, no joke. There's only one other game that does that, sort of, and it's Resident Evil, but you still don't really see the person that is slowly fidgeting with the door. And you really do get to feel the character. He's fidgeting with it, and it's just a terrifying moment for me and the character. And the ceiling ghosts are a pain in my ass- SON OF A- <laughs>